Hi everybody, Carl Schuf here from Greensock, and today I want to show you the different direction sensing capabilities that we have in Draggable. Draggable's get direction method takes a from parameter that allows us to get our direction based on where we're dragging from. If we pass in the string value of start as the from parameter, that means that when we're dragging, we're going to get the direction based on where we're dragging from. Right now you'll see that the draggable is to the right of the gray div showing me the start position. If I drag down here, we're right down from the start position, and over here, we're down from the start position. The next option for the from parameter is the string of velocity. Velocity is going to give me the moment by moment direction. So I can drag up and down, and as I'm jiggling, you'll see that up and down is changing up there. If I go left and right, you'll see now that we're changing the left and right. If I go down, up, down, up, left, right, and as I'm dragging right up, you'll see that I get that and left down too. And lastly, I can get the position from any other DOM element on the page. So right now the center of the draggable is right up from the center of this logo element. If I drag down here, you'll see I'm now to the right. I can go to the left. I can go up, and then I can also go down. Next, I'll jump over to the source code so you can see exactly how this demo works. So here's our code that creates our draggable element. I just want to point out that our on drag callback is set to this update directions method. So basically, as we're dragging, update directions is going to fire. And if we scroll down to where that function is, we'll just see that we have three HTML elements where we're changing the inner HTML to show the direction. And so for each of them, we're just calling this dot get direction. The first one is based on using the string start as the from parameter, then velocity, and then the logo element. So again, as I'm dragging around, we're just changing the text in these three different elements using this function. Now using get direction, we could also do something like say, hey, you know what? What if I drop my draggable element to the right of the logo, then I want to maybe hide the logo, something like that. Well, that can be as easy as this. I'm just going to add in an on drag end callback where we're going to just have a very simple conditional statement. I'm going to use get direction to figure out if the draggable is to the right of the logo element. And if so, we're just going to create a little tween to hide the logo element. So let me just give myself a little bit more room. I'm going to run this demo. And then now as I'm dragging, you'll see that I'm to the right of the logo element. And when I stop dragging by lifting up my mouse, boom, the logo disappears. So hopefully you can see that it's really easy to now add this direction-based conditional logic wherever you might need it in your app. Oh, and you know what? While you're here, I want to show you just one more feature of Draggable. You'll see that I have a very short window here, and that when I drag my element down, that it's not allowing me to scroll the window or the container that I'm in. So I just want to show you really quick that I can use the auto scroll property to enable that type of scrolling. I'm going to set the value to 1. I'm going to rerun the demo, and then now watch what happens as I scroll down here you'll see that the window actually scrolls. When I scroll up to the top, everything comes back into view. That's really just a teaser for now. Check out Draggable's documentation for video and demos on how auto-scroll works.